calls and actually only a few telephone calls, but a bunch of emails and messages saying, my DJI aircraft already has remote identification and it has UUID and all that. What you have to understand is in terms of the remote ID document, there has been no remote ID broadcast module that has been accepted by the U.S. government yet. In fact, it will be broadcasting through radio frequency that will go through the, FA, uh, the FCC approval. And all companies have 18 months to make up said system at this time. So nothing that's previous to this document coming out is automatically accepted. Everything will have to be new. And uh, in 2023, about, uh, what did we say, May, all aircraft UAVs made with the remote identification system broadcast module will have uh, U.S. government acceptance and approval. And the sticking point of this is DJI uh, has to give all their information to the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, because that's where they are in China. And the U.S. government specifically wants to prohibit such behavior. So you're going to have to turn around and all facilities, procedures, and technical, technical requirements of the production of the modules, including their serial numbers, which are part of ANSCII, American Standards National Institution, and they will be monitored by FAA uh, approved parties. The FAA has the right to inspect the facilities for compliance and audit the facilities on a continuation basis. And uh, each module itself will have to be labeled with its own serial number. Now, in some cases, that serial number will be part of your registration, will be attached to your registration. So, no, nothing you have now is going to be usable in 2023, May of 2023, when Remote ID comes fully into uh, compliance. So, remember that. But, you know, companies are going to make modules small enough to go on to uh, any systems that we have now. I wouldn't worry about that. And I just wanted to update you on that. Yep. Continued compliance audit manufacturing certification. That's not a sticking point for any U.S. company or uh, allied ally company but no DJI equipment at this time complies in fact nothing complies until the 18 month period goes by and the government determines who can and cannot make these modules and their process for making them is certified I hope that answers the question